This is honestly one of the most unique sneakers I've seen in a very long time. And I think it's fair to say that this shoe is thick. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm reviewing one of the wildest sneakers of 2020, Jaden Smith's collaboration with New Balance, the Vision Racer. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and you want to see more content just like this. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. And actually, while you're at it, make sure to enter my PlayStation 5 Digital Edition giveaway. I've got all the links and the information that you need in the description below. But a couple days ago, I got in a shoe that I've got to say surprised me. Not because I didn't know it was coming. I knew the shoe was coming. But what surprised me about it was how bulky it is. This is one of the bulkiest shoes of the year that isn't something like a Balenciaga. And while usually I steer away from shoes like that, I was kind of drawn to this one. And I know it's a New Balance, and I know you guys know that I love New Balance, and I pretty much buy everything that they put out. But honestly, curiosity got the best of me, and I had to pick it up. I hate to say it, but I'm into it. I really like this shoe a lot. So Jaden Smith, son of Will Smith, and also founder of Siri, Siri, not totally sure how to pronounce it, but he actually collaborated with New Balance on a couple different silhouettes, and this is one of them. This is the New Balance Vision Racer. So this silhouette is kind of special because this silhouette is only available as a collaboration with New Balance and Jaden Smith, which is not usually the case with New Balance. In fact, usually New Balance doesn't even let you change anything other than the color on your collaboration, which I don't think is a bad thing because their silhouettes are usually pretty solid. But for whatever reason, Jaden Smith got the chance to either design his own shoe or pick out a shoe that hadn't released yet to make his own. And I gotta be honest, from what I know of Jaden Smith and his eccentric personality, I think this shoe fits with him perfectly. So the New Balance Vision Racer has released in two different colorways, this yellow colorway and a light blue colorway, and both colorways retailed for 149 bucks and have since sold out. Because this shoe is a collaboration, I would assume that it's created in limited quantities, but I have no idea how limited we're talking, if we're talking a couple thousand or if we're talking like tens of thousands. Regardless, even though this shoe is absolutely insane looking, it's sold out in both men's sizes and in women's sizes, so it must be relatively popular. But while the Jaden New Balance Vision Racer might be a wild looking sneaker, it also has some other stuff going for it, namely that this shoe is actually made up of a huge amount of recycled materials. But before we dive any deeper into the shoe itself, let's take a quick look at the box. So the box that the Vision Racers come in comes in this nice sort of white satin look, which I'm really into. On the top of the box, you've got his Vision logo with the New Balance logo on the top right, New Balance written upside down underneath it, and then also, do you see it yet? I'm not sure what he means by that, maybe his Vision? I don't see his vision yet, but I like the logo. And then around the sides of the box, you'll notice some recycling logos. And also on one side, it says that the box is made up of 100% recycled materials, which I'm really into. For me, a product being made of recycled materials or incorporating recycled materials isn't a make or break for me. And a lot of times it's just advertising BS. In fact, a lot of shoes that you see out there that say they use recycled materials use very little recycled materials. So recycled products are not something that I run out to the store specifically to buy. However, when a brand does create something that does utilize a lot of of recycled materials, I have respect for it and I appreciate it. And that's definitely the case with this shoe. But that's pretty much all there is to see as far as the box is concerned. Let's get back into the sneakers. So like the box, these shoes are actually made up of a lot of recycled materials. Not 100% recycled materials like the box, but definitely a lot of recycled materials. Starting off around the mud guard of the shoe on the very edge of the toe, you've got this thin rubber material, which is actually very similar to the rubber and the same texture that you find on the Yeezy 700s. Then just above that, in a darker shade of yellow, you've got this synthetic leather that comes in this tumble texture. And the reason I know this is synthetic leather is because they specifically call this shoe out as being vegan friendly, which means it doesn't use any real leather at all. But I've got to say, for a synthetic, it actually feels pretty nice to the touch, and a lot of people wouldn't even guess that this is synthetic. Then just above that, you've got this bright yellow piping that actually runs around a majority of the upper and features this Vision logo printed onto it in blue. And it's crazy, but even though it's such a small detail on the shoe, it adds some nice dimension to the sneaker, and I'm really into it. In the center of the toe, you've got this light yellow textile mesh, which apparently is made up of 100% recycled polyester, and so is all the other textile materials on the shoe. That's actually really cool to see, because a lot of other brands who use recycled polyester don't use a huge huge amount of it. They only say that they use like 50% of the weight. I think you guys know what brand I'm talking about. Nothing wrong with that, but it's cool to see New Balance actually go full force, Stop doing full force. and use 
fully recycled polyester. Moving farther back in the shoe towards the tongue, you've got more synthetic leather details both in yellow and in dark gray, and you've also got these lace loops which come in nylon. The laces that they use on this shoe are thin yellow rope laces, but if you don't like these rope laces, they actually give you a set of black laces if you decide to switch them out. <laughs> I'm not going to though because I don't want my shoe to look like a bumblebee. It's already bright yellow, it already looks crazy enough. I don't need the extra black on there, it's just, it's gonna be too much. Underneath the laces, you've got a thin tongue that comes in 100% recycled polyester. And one thing that I noticed when I was wearing the shoe is that it has this tendency to roll over when you put your foot into the shoe and kind of get really annoying on top of your feet. Like, it's actually not hard to get your foot into the shoe, it's just hard to like, get the tongue situated to where it feels good on your foot. I know that's like a weird gripe and it doesn't usually happen, but with a thin tongue like this, it's really kind of prone to roll and I just don't like that at all. And when I say roll, I mean like curl up on the sides towards the bottom of the tongue where it's hard to like actually get your finger in there and push it around. It's not a huge deal, but it's something that you might have to keep in mind if you decide to wear this shoe. Above the laces, you've got this yellow and gray pattern pull tab that runs all the way down the tongue. And then at the top of the pull tab, you've got the Vision and Racer logo. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got a yellow mesh sock liner, which apparently is also made up of recycled polyester, which I like and it still feels good. I wouldn't have guessed it was recycled if you had asked me. But then the most interesting part of the inside of the shoe is actually the insole. So the first thing that you'll notice about the insole is that it's textured. And I've got to say, after wearing the shoe for a while, it does kind of massage the bottom of your feet. But as I'm sure you've noticed, part of this insole is actually made up of recycled materials. The recycled portion of the insole is the blue back half of the insole. And it's actually slightly stiffer than the rest of the foam. And the reason for that is to give you a little bit of support around your heel. Now, I don't really know what percentage of this blue portion is made up of recycled materials. Maybe it's made up entirely of recycled materials. Maybe it's not. I have no idea, but it's definitely nice to see them incorporate recycled materials where they can, and it also does help with stability, which I appreciate it. Softness-wise, though, it's not that soft, and when it's paired with the EVA midsole, it's kind of like, eh fine on your feet. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. As for sizing and fit, the Jaden New Balance Vision Racer did seem to fit a little bit big. I felt like you could go true to size and you'd probably be okay. I just felt like I had a little bit more room around the sides of my feet and I have narrow feet, so maybe that's why, but it definitely felt like I could have gone down a half size if I really wanted to. But because everyone's feet are different, I definitely suggest trying on a pair of these for yourself before you buy them just to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. Then moving back in the shoe, you've got some more synthetic leather panels and some more 100% recycled polyester and then in the center of the midfoot you've got the New Balance logo in a reflective material surrounded by some black embroidery. I'm sure in a lot of the b-roll of this shoe and probably even now in this shot with the LED lights hitting it this New Balance logo will look white but it actually comes in a metallic silver and it's just a reflective material. Then a little bit farther back in sort of an odd color choice you've got this bright hit of white synthetic leather which I actually don't mind it just definitely stands out from the rest of the sneaker and then moving around to the heel of the shoe you've got this very rubbery feeling semi-translucent heel tab with the New Balance logo printed onto it in black. But now we get to the part of the shoe that is definitely the most eye-catching, and that's this EVA midsole. So according to New Balance's website, this shoe features 5% recycled EVA regrind, which is similar to Nike grind, which is when they take some reused materials and kind of grind it up and put it into the midsole so it gives it sort of a speckled look. I think it looks nice in the shoe, it adds a little bit more texture to this midsole because you are covering such a large surface because this midsole is so huge. And I think it's fair to say that this midsole is definitely the most polarizing part of the shoe. In fact, when I posted a picture of this on Instagram, someone said it looked like I was walking on three different sticks of butter, which is kind of funny because that's almost exactly how it looks. <laughs> as far as comfort goes, like I said before, it's not incredibly comfortable or uncomfortable. It just kind of feels like you're walking on a platform EVA shoe. And this shoe really does give you like an inch and a half, two inches of height. Like you're really sitting not too deep into the EVA. Your foot's pretty much like right here. So you're really gaining a lot of height. And hey, maybe you're short, maybe you're shorter than you would like to be. And you'd like to wear a shoe that kind of gives you a little bit more height. This shoe could definitely do that for you. It's going to be eye catching though. And I think people will realize what you're trying to do. But hey, it's not a bad looking shoe, so I guess it could be worse. One thing I've been thinking a lot about with this shoe, especially now that I have it in hand, is how this shoe reminds me so much of a Balenciaga, and how you can get a shoe that has that sort of Balenciaga bulky vibe for only 150 bucks versus Balenciaga's $900. And while no, the shoe might not have the same sort of cachet that Balenciaga has, it definitely has a similar look, and if the look is what you're going for, this is definitely a better way to go. One thing that I noticed though when I was wearing this shoe that I wasn't a huge fan of, is that because this midsole is so thick towards the back of the shoe and it kind of tapers down to a much thinner midsole towards the front of the shoe, you really start to notice a drop off when you step forward. Like there's definitely a very noticeable like, uh, 
don't know if that sound effect made sense, but you really kind of feel like you're falling forward when you take a step. But let's be honest, you're not wearing these shoes for comfort, you're wearing them for looks. And uh, I think this shoe will definitely get you the looks that you're looking for. And then finally moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this translucent outsole with the Vision logo printed on the midsole in pink. I actually love the way that this outsole looks. I didn't even know it was gonna have this detail, but I'm glad they added it because it really does add a lot. Jaden Smith's New Balance Vision Racer is definitely a solid sneaker. I mean, literally solid. The midsole is by far the most eye-catching part of the shoe, and if you like the midsole, this shoe is a no-brainer. I think all the rest of the shoe and the fact that it's heavily recycled and also vegan-friendly makes this shoe pretty appealing. I really do love all the paneling on the upper. I love the detail on the outsole, and while I'm not a huge fan of this midsole, I don't think it detracts too much to make it where I don't want to wear this shoe. That said, I wouldn't wear this sneaker every day. In fact, this is probably more of like a once a month sneaker, but if you're into it, it's definitely worth picking up, especially for 150 bucks. If you want to pay resale, fine. It's not too crazy. I think it's like 50 to $100 over retail, which might be a lot, might not be a huge amount depending on your budget. It's a good shoe. If you like it, go for it. If you don't, let it go. But now I would love to know your thoughts on the New Balance Vision Racer and whether you grabbed one for yourself, whether you're planning to grab one for yourself, or whether you just absolutely hate this shoe. So let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.